Now, artificial selection, the process that produces these dogs and these pigeons and these cabbages, is too slow for us to see during the course of one lecture. But we can imitate it on a computer, and I'm going to do it with a program called Arthromorphs. These are arthromorphs. This is the parent arthromorph, and round the, the edge of it are eight child arthromorphs. And they resemble the parent very closely, but there may be a, a genetic change, a mutation, a random genetic change as you go from parent to child. So that one, for example, has longer legs. That one's got its legs up instead of down. And the way you breed arthromorphs... Could I have a volunteer to... My goodness. Um, right, yes. Thank you. Um, have you ever used a computer with a mouse? Yes. Yes, OK. What you do then is you choose the one you want to breed from uh, and just click it once. So he's going for the long-legged one, I think. Click it. It goes to the centre and becomes the parent of the next generation. Now you see all the next generation have longer legs. What's your name, by the way? Lawrence. Lawrence. Lawrence it seems to be breeding for longer legs. I wonder he, if he's going to continue that. That's right. Keep going. Don't wait for me. Just, just keep on breeding. OK, Lawrence likes long legs. <laughs> and they're getting longer and... OK. Now, what I said was that uh, these creatures have genes which are going from parent to child. What would I mean by talking about genes in a computer? Well, in a computer, of course, genes would just be numbers. Uh, they're not real genes. They're not made of DNA. But nevertheless, they are genes in the sense that they are what go through from generation to generation. <laughs> There's no sex in these creatures, by the way. These are all reproducing asexually, like stick insects and uh, like, like aphids. Carry on. <laughs> read, as, read as fast as you can to get through a lot of generations. So what we're seeing now, what Lawrence is doing, is artificial selection, just like our ancestors did with dogs and pigeons. But he's managing to achieve, in a couple of minutes, what would have taken several centuries for our ancestors to have achieved. <coughs> what are you going for, Lawrence? What? Legs. You're, you're trying to get lots of zigzags in the legs, are you? <laughs> All right, perhaps we'd better proceed now. So thank you very much indeed, Lawrence.